Hi everyone. In this video, we are discussing lead code medium level problem. It's a SQL problem and the problem number is 1875. The problem title is group employees of the same salary, right? Okay, so the schema is given. Let's check this table called employees and it has got three columns. One is employee ID and that is the primary key for this table. And the next one is the name of the employee and the third one is salary of the employee. Okay, so we have these three columns and uh, yeah, so basically this is the only table in this problem, right? And what are we supposed to do here? A company wants to divide the employees into teams. Okay, so it's like a team formation problem. So we have to divide the employees into teams based on what? It is done such that all the members of each team have the same salary. Right. So this is the criteria uh, upon which we are dividing the uh, employees into number of uh, teams. OK, so every member belonging to the same team will have the same salary. OK, on salary basis, we are dividing. OK, so uh, so th they have given the complete list of criteria that we have to uh, meet in order to, uh, you know, uh, solve this problem. OK, so the first criteria is each team should consist of at least two employees. Right. Every team, the team that we are forming, forming based on the salary, every such team should consist of at least two employees. This particular condition, uh, I think it is going to be a bit challenging to uh, code. Uh, we'll see that when we are actually going to code it. Okay, you see the logic is uh, this. It's possible that an employee is having a unique salary. I'm, I'm talking about the salary value. Okay, that is unique. Okay, so no other employee in the organization is having exactly the same salary. So that in, in that particular case, that single employee alone will be counted as a team right so it's a team of one okay so we don't want such teams as the the point that they are conveying here okay so it should be a team of two right if there is a person having a unique salary in that case we will have to simply remove that person from the uh from the output table okay so what's the next condition all employees on a team should have the same salary okay that is already stated and all the employees of the same salary should be assigned to the same team right okay so the point two and three put together is the problem uh, statement right all the employees on a team should have the same salary and at the same time all the employees having the same salary should be assigned to the same team it's it's not like uh Point number two and three are not exactly the same points. Okay, so they are like, you know, conveying two different things. It's possible that I have a team A in which all the member salaries are exactly one figure, let's say $1,000. And I can form another team B where all the members have the same salary of $1,000. Okay, so I have team A and team B. That is clearly satisfying the first criteria, right? All the employees in every single team, they have the same salary. Okay. So team A is having members having $1,000 as salary. Team B is also having members having $1,000 as salary. So this kind of split is not, uh, you know, allowed. That is what they are conveying by the third point. Okay. All the employees having the same salary should be in the same team. So you can't have it like team A and team B. It should be merged together as one single team. Okay, so the reason why I'm giving you this example is that point two and point three are not the same points being reiterated. They are two different points. Okay, they sound very similar, but they are two different points. Okay, uh, point number four, the criteria number four, if the salary of an employee is unique, we do not assign this employee to any team. That is basically like, you know, rephrasing the first statement. Okay, so every team should have at least two members. Okay, so if there is a person having unique salary, that person is not going to be in the output table, right? Okay, so he's not part of any team. A team's ID, okay, this is another tricky part. A team's ID, so we are forming teams, right? So we are going to give a unique ID for all these teams, okay? So a team's ID is assigned based on the rank of the team's salary relative to the other team's salary, okay? So where the team with the lowest salary is uh, having team ID one and the next lowest will have team ID two, so on, right? So note that the salaries for employees not on a team are not included in this ranking. It's a very, very important point to be noted. Okay. We have to make sure that the, in this ranking process, 
uh, we are not not at all taking into consideration the salaries of those employees having unique salaries do you get this point we, we are removing certain salaries sorry uh, we are removing certain employees from the list right we are removing certain employees because their salaries are unique okay so those removed employees salaries are not going to play any role at all in this ranking so we are removing those employees first and then with the leftover employees we are grouping them based on the salaries and then we are giving them rank okay so that is a very important point they have conveyed so we have like way too many criteria here which we need to uh, meet uh, so we need to find we, we need to write a sql query to get the team id of each employee that is in a team okay and result the table ordered by team id in ascending order okay this ordering condition is the last thing to worry about as always so we'll get back to this later so they have given an example okay so there is only one table like i told you before employees table and we have employee id name and salary so the values are given over here right and the output will be like this the output will contain exact same three columns employee id name and salary and that part it will also have team id which is something we are assigning based on the uh, the salary in the increasing order right okay so as you can see here uh, person 2 employee id 2 and 3 they both share same salary of 3000 okay so therefore they both get the same team id of 1 it's 1 because 3000 is the lowest of all the salaries okay and person employee number 7 and 9 they both share the same salary 7400 so again these two employees are belonging to the next team okay which is uh, the second highest salary therefore it's team 2 and you can uh, see that this person with the employee id 8 his salary is 6100 right and that is a unique value nobody else is having exactly the same figure 6100 as salary so this person is not going to be part of any team and this person you know the last point that they stated here note that the salaries for employees not on a team are not included in this ranking okay so that point i'm explaining here okay so the 6100 we are not counting when it comes to ranking because imagine had we counted the 6100 in this ranking system then these two members will not belong to the second team they will belong to the third team because their salary is the third highest salary okay from this table okay the least salary is 3000 the second least is 6100 and the third is 7400 so we should have assigned it as three okay but they have given this condition that okay we are not at all including those people in the ranking so we are like completely discarding this particular person so one thing is very clear what is the first thing that we are supposed to do that is very very clear remove all those people whose salaries are unique and only then we'll start solving the problem of course this is part of the solution itself removing those people itself is part of solving the problem but that's the first thing we are going to do only then we will go ahead and you know try to meet the other uh, criteria right okay so i think we will have to explanation is just what i told you just now okay so it's the same thing you can pause and read if you want to okay it's the same story okay so like i told you we'll create a temporary table using cte method let's create a table uh, it's it's basically like I'm taking that uh, the main table employees from there we are going to remove all those people having unique salary that is the first and foremost like important thing that we're going to do right so yeah so I, I think I can just copy paste this because you are taking all the three columns okay select employee ID name and salary from the table called employees okay and what are we supposed to do we will have to filter out those employees whose salaries are unique okay how to do it exactly so we use this where clause where the employee id should not be in should not be in what it should not be in the list of all those employees whose salary is unique but how do we find out the list of all those employees whose salary is unique so for that we will have to write a subquery there is no other option we will have to write a subquery it goes like this okay so i'm writing this subquery in order to capture only those employee ids alone nothing else we want only the employee ids we are capturing from this uh, employees table okay 
and uh, these are the employee ids of employees having unique salary so how do we you know code it okay so we are going to group it by you're getting this idea right we are selecting the employee ids alone from the employees table and we are going to group it by their salary after we group it by the salary we are going to use this having clause where the count of uh, star is one in the sense the count of the entries is one okay so this thing that i'm highlighting right this thing that i'm highlighting is a subquery where we are capturing all those employees in the list of employees table whose salary is unique that is what we mean by saying that okay i'm grouping by the salary and the count of star is basically the count of the number of entries okay after we apply the group by statement okay so it's a count of entries so count of entries is equal to one in the sense that okay that person is having unique salary yeah so this is the subquery where we are capturing that and what is the meaning of this entire where clause the meaning is the employee id under consideration should not be in the uh, in the uh, in the subquery okay so this is how we are going to filter out all the people having unique salaries okay so this is our cte so instead of uh, querying from the main table employees we are going to you know query from the cte only because here we have filtered out all those uh, employees okay so now is the main part okay what are we going to do select i think i can copy paste only right I can copy paste all this because we are selecting the employee id name salary everything is part of the output uh, table just one more thing is there in the output table that is a team id and i told you already like how we are you know assigning the team id okay so it's pretty obvious they themselves have given a hint we have to use rank specifically we have to use uh dense rank dense rank over what on what basis we are ranking it we are ranking it on the basis of salary okay salary is going from lower to higher okay so we are ordering it by salary we are ordering it by salary and let me call this particular thing as uh, oh we are supposed to call it team id look at the output table they have given one you know sample output table so we are supposed to call it team id and uh, we are extracting all these information from the uh, cte okay so i think that's it should work let's check okay excellent it worked let's now submit our code to see how it performs very good okay our code is accepted and even the runtime and the memory usage everything is uh, pretty good i hope that you found this video useful thank you for watching